Hey everybody, we're heading to Ireland today. Let's do this. <laughs> I know, I am super, super stoked to do this. Thank God you got buddies like Steve. Steve, he's the one that kind of hooked me up with Dara, that hooked me up with this. Thanks a lot, guys, man. I super appreciate it. What we have here is a Defense Forces Ireland, or Irish Defense Forces, depending on how you prefer to say it. It is a 24-hour ration pack. Now, Dara, he's got some buddies that are in the service, in the forces, as it were. And these were actually used, so there are some components that are missing that were used or sampled or used in the field. So keep that in mind. So it's not exactly complete, but what can you say? This is from Ireland, freaking Ireland, people. So that's outstanding. Here's a little look at the label. You can see it's produced by Vesti Foods. They are the main supplier right now for the operational ration packs used by the British forces. And we also have like a content sheet or menu card inside. But why cheat? Let's see what we got inside the bag. Crack this thing open. It's just a simple plastic bag with a simple zip seal. I imagine what it had a, I don't know, prob, it doesn't even look like it had a, a tear notch or anything on the top. But just throw it in the bag, zip it up, and good to go. Again, the content sheet real quick. You can see this is menu A. This is good for good until February of 2018. You got all of this stuff. Like I said, it's missing two things, it's missing two mains. It's missing a breakfast and it's missing what you can either use for lunch or for dinner. But of course it's got curry in there, so I'm happy. So we have vegetable, curry, and rice. Have this fruit flavored energy drink. And what does this say it is? It is apple flavor. Of course your tissues. Hot chocolate orange flavor. Hot pepper sauce, your fruit and fun. This is apple and strawberry and banana. Quite the flavor combination. All right, I don't know quite how to feel about this one. This is a cola flavored sports drink and it's got aspartamine in it. And I'm not a fan of like artificial sweeteners and stuff like that. I'm out in the field. What do I want a Coke for or a cola? Well, but you really can't complain about that. We have an orange drink, some smooth peanut butter, of course, the squidge. This is a hazelnut chocolate spread, a tutti fruity flavored drink, whatever that is supposed to be. And this also has a spartamine in it bag of jelly beans, cookies and cream cereal bar, just nuts, and for the dessert that it has on the menu, a cinnamon bun. Let's take a look at the brew kit. Pretty standard kit, looks like about the same size bag exactly as you would get in an ORP. You have your hand sanitizing wipes. Some creamers, looks like you get four creamers, four sugars, two bags of tea, two coffees, of course your matches, water purification tablets, and three packets of, what is this, strong mint gum. And in case you were wondering what mains we were missing, it is the chicken, sausages, and beans, and the Irish lamb casserole. And seeing how I only have one main to heat up, I'm just going to do this in one fail swoop, as opposed to doing a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, we'll start off with the drinks, naturally. 
I haven't had these drinks before, so we'll try the cola and the tutti frutti, have some tea, some coffee, and I've already had these kind of drinks before, but we have an orange drink and the apple and the hot chocolate, so we'll just forego with those and make these. And both of these require 500 ml, which is almost 17 ounces of water. Definitely smells tutti frutti. Now this is the cola. I'm really curious about the cola. I just, for some reason, this is not something that I would want out into the field, reminding me about the rear with a gear. Hmm. I'm seeing a little off camera here. I'll put this in here. <laughs> yeah. I have to admit, the whole time I've been preparing for this review <laughs> and getting ready for just for this, for my little standbys, I've been listening to the Pogues, The Body of an American. I'll leave a link down there on the bottom of the screen since I can't use them in this video. Let's grab everything else and get it. Then we have the just nuts. I'm assuming it's just going to be uh, nuts. We can open it. Oh, we have some... Almonds, peanuts, cashews, cookies and cream cereal bar. Always good for like breakfast or if you just need a snack throughout the day. The Bridgeford Cinnabon. This Bridgeford product, this stuff is getting more and more visible in uh, European rations. And in fact, Old Smokey, he just did a review of the legit Bridgeford MRE pizza. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to check that out. In fact, I think I'll throw a link down there. It is legit. It's not a. It's not one of those like spoof videos either. And then we have the jelly beans. Where I'm from, like in Southern California, we would call these jelly bellies because they are nice and small. Yeah, all different multi flavors. Of course, we have our squidge. One thing that I recommend that you do if you get one of these is to make sure to put the cap right back on because we've got that airflow now and just actually move it around because like peanut butter it separates a little bit and then that way it's not going all over where and you can thicken it back up and then we have the smooth peanut butter like kind of like the squidge uh, I don't really know what we're going to use this for except for maybe on our cinnamon bun have some strong mint gum sitting around. Looks like two little, or feels like two little briquettes because I haven't seen them yet. There those are. We'll stick those right there. Uh, I found another thing that this was, it, that was removed. The digestive biscuits, which probably the biscuit browns or biscuit fruits. I'm assuming that we're in here. That would have went well with the squidge and the peanut butter. Almost forgot my fruit and fun. You gotta love it when it's apple, strawberry, and banana flavor. That is going to be, that's quite an interesting flavor combination, I have to admit. Banana kind of comes through. You can kind of smell a little bit of the, hmm, just a hint of the apple, but more banana than anything else. And our pepper sauce. We're going to use this on something. I don't know what, but we are going to use that. Okay, I got my moist towelette alcohol wipe. I'm going to transfer this stuff over here because we are going to use that we're going to use it on something there's the cola drink 
There is the tutti frutti drink. Of course, we have our tea. I guess we can leave the coffee over here. Lone Survivor. And of course, my spoon. And I just ran upstairs and got the main. And again, this is a vegetable curry with rice. Put the sticker on one side, and of course, the tear knockers on the other. Makes it kind of hard to film, but hey! That's show business for you. I like to be an entertainer. It's 300 grams. Looks like I see little bits of corn in there. Of course, you have peppers. What else do we have in here? It says some carrot, potato, green beans, a little bit of celery, sweet corn, tomato, cooked whole grain brown rice, chickpeas, red peppers. It has some pea beans, hmm, a little bit of tomato puree, lentils, some garlic, ginger, spices, coriander, and all of those fragrant curry spices. And just going back to best before dates, if you look at the content sheet, this says best before 2018, but if you look on that, this one actually says this one's good well past 2019, if you can see it through that glare. Seeing how we are two main short, these are meals unto themselves, so we're going to crack open a Guinness. Oh, yeah. And I'll have to use my German glass. It's a tulip glass. I tried looking for these bottles in a pint size, and you just couldn't find it. And I'm just going to let this sit right here warm up a little bit and be happy and while we're letting this warm up we're not going to let this cool down let's try our vegetable curry give you all a good look at that before i ram it in my pie hole you can really taste the coriander in there in the in the tomato the tomato puree comes across and the corn has a nice hint to it. It's very mild. It's very creamy. It's not very powerful curry, but you could always spruce it up if you needed to with dun 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 your pepper sauce. Wow, this stuff smells good too. And that is a good size opening. That's the size opening Tabasco needs to do. See, look at that. Just oozes out. And I don't mix my stuff in because I like to be in your face kind of warm heat. Take another bite of that. This stuff is good. This has a nice little zing to it. Feel that little burn on my tongue. That's good stuff. I think we're, <laughs> we might have to snag a few more of those little bottles <laughs> hidden around the house. Oh, that was good. Mm. Yeah, you definitely eat that all the time. Matter of fact, we're getting we're getting some more. I had a nice big hunk of potato in there, too. Oh, man. It's good stuff. Thank you, Dara. Thank you very much for hooking me and Steve up with these. All right. We're going to try to cleanse our palate with this cola drink. Like I said, I'm not too... I don't know. I guess I'm on the fence about this. Let me try it first. Okay. That's... I don't know. It's not... It does taste like cola. I will give you that. It tastes like cola. But if I was going to have a cola out, and out in the field or a Coke, I would like it to be kind of uh, cold instead of room temperature. But you're out in the field. <laughs> Not like you have, have a choice to carry around a refrigerator with you. Another good palate cleanser would be your fruit and fun. Mmm. Yeah, that's peculiar I don't know it's not that it's not that bad it's not that bad I think the first one of these I had my very first uh, ORP like three years ago that one was really really kind of funky but essentially this is it's just a puree it's mostly apple with a little bit of banana and just the smallest hint of strawberry in there
Then we have the peanuts, cashews, and almonds. They look like they are lightly salted. Well, looks are definitely deceiving, and they their advertising is not deceiving. When they say just nuts, that's all it is, because there's no salt on here. <laughs> I don't know what my eyes are seeing. That's the problem about getting old. They're slightly stale, but outside of that, man, again, if you get this here out in the sticks, shout out, it's good protein. And then the jelly beans or jelly bellies, depending on wherever you happen to be from. All different flavors. And these are really good, too. It's nice and sweet. It's kind of got like a, not like a crunchy, but a hard outside and a soft gumdrop kind of inside. Uh, they just kind of, they're really smooth, too. They're not really overly powerful, not overly sweet, but they do have a, a sweetness to them, if you understand what I'm saying. Let's try the tutti fruity drink. I was looking at the actual contents. It says contains 1.2% tutti fruity flavoring. I was like, all righty then. Mm. It's trying to describe the smell. It, it just smells kind of like a citrus drink, which that is one of the major components in it is citric acid. So to me, it's kind of like lemony. Uh, a little mango-y, that, kind of, that kind of taste to it. All right, I can't hold off anymore. I'm going to try some of my Guinness, which is a meal unto itself. Uh, boy, that's good stuff. Cheers, everybody. Mm. And I learned way back, you don't go Guinness unless if, uh, well... We'll just leave it at that. We have our cookies and cream. I don't know. Dessert bar? Breakfast bar? Power bar? Energy bar? Cereal bar. That's what it was. Cereal bar. It has the chocolate kind of like, I don't know, like cocoa crispy kind of things, which that's not it. Please don't sue me. Whatever, but... Yeah, not too bad of a taste. Pretty decent. Not good, good with your coffee when you're having in the morning, waking up. Well, there's nothing like army coffee, I'll tell you that. It's not too bad because I put some uh, put some creamer, a little bit of sugar in there. And then, of course, our tea. That's good stuff, too. What else do we have? Oh yeah, we got to do this uh, cinnamon bun in this squidge and peanut butter. Well, let's give this a try real quick. Bridgeford cinnamon bun. Has a little cinnamon inside filling. Hmm. Man, and I'm wondering when my jelly bean went into my well, went into my curry. That's an interesting flavor combination right there. And since I don't have my digestive biscuits, I'll take a little bit of my squidge, my hazelnut spray. And you can see you mix that real good and you don't get that, well, kind of explosion coming out. So there we go. There's the squidge. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. And then we'll throw some peanut butter on there, too. Some smooth peanut butter. Yep. Try just a little bit of that. Kind of runny for peanut butter, but not too bad. Well, let's try them together. Chocolate and peanut butter, they always go together. And as for this being runny, I guess it might be designed that way, because from talking with a lot of people that have used ORPs, they say this isn't necessarily an accoutrement to a main or something, that they actually just eat this right out of the packet, you know, like when they're on operations or on a patrol or whatever. So that might be uh, a good reason why it's a little on the runny side. Got to take some more of my good old stuff. <clears throat> Yep, Guinness, the beer of kings. 
I have to tell you all, I had an absolute blast preparing for this particular review. Had a bunch of Guinnesses, a couple of harps, listening to the Pogues. It was a good time. But everybody, this was the Defense Forces Ireland 24-hour ration pack. Yeah, we were missing a few things, but nonetheless, it just shows you the quality that the Defense Forces of Ireland are giving their troops. Good stuff. Steve is going to have one of these reviews coming out probably pretty soon. And I know he's going to do a bang-up job on that too. Thank you, Dara, for sending this to us. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all on my next review. Bye. Bye.